Hi everyone, it's Joe, and I am just getting back from a ride outside, and uh, just thought I'm going to share with you uh, one of my favorite things that I own about biking, and it's a, a piece of clothing, um, something that I've had for a couple of years, um, and have um, just grown to appreciate um, this. So, um, what I've got on is uh, the Segoy um, thermal jacket, and uh, we, uh, as a team, a couple of years ago, uh, changed jackets, uh, kind of cold weather gear, for some of our early and, and late, early spring and late fall um, races that we do. And um, so we picked uh, our, our coach uh, picked this jacket out, and um, I have absolutely loved this. Now I can't say that about everything that I have. I, I, you know, I like a lot of things. I do well, but this jacket is a piece that I actually absolutely love, um, just for. Um, the flexibility that it provides. So, a couple of interesting features or a couple of really good features about this. Obviously, it's a, a pretty form-fitting jacket. Um, it's uh, it has a, a waistband with uh, elastic and um, and uh, I don't know. It's just kind of the same material that you'd have on the inside of your lycra, you know, shorts that would you know keep the the garment in place, <clears throat> and so it doesn't ride as much as some of my other jackets that I've had. Uh, you know, the back stays, stays in place. It is a, a, lower, a lower back. Um, it's got three big pockets in it, so I carry a water bottle, uh, my tool pouch, and then in the center pack I always carry my phone. Um, and so that does that very comfortably. Um, doesn't sag when I put uh, heavy things in the, in the back pockets, um, so it you know, keeps it close to my body which um, is kind of important because I'll, I'll stick water bottles in there and that actually can help re, uh, retain some of the heat. Um, and so during the winter when it's below 32 degrees, uh, water doesn't freeze. So um, the uh, panels, there's on the sleeves, on the outer side of the sleeves, um, and then the front panel is windproof. Um, and I can tell you that makes a huge difference. Um, you know, when I've got a, when this is dirty and I've got to wear one of my other jackets when I get outside and it's windy, um, man, that wind, wind just whips right through you. Um, and that can be a, a lot of, uh, they can be just real cold. So, um, I love the, this jacket for that. It's also, uh, slightly, uh, water resistant. Um, if you get a light rain, today was misty, it was really cloudy, uh, foggy, and, you know, that's just kind of wet, damp, uh, weather. Uh, this keeps, you know, keeps you nice and dry as well. Uh, the inside of the jacket is insulated. Um, it's got a nice, I don't know if it's a fleece lining, but it's, it feels, you know, kind of like a fleece, real thin fleece lining. Um, and then a uh, the full zip. So what I have, you know, one of the re main reasons that I really like this jacket is um, just its uh, broad um, temperature ranges that I can use it. So just as a jacket alone, you know, can, you can wear it just as a jacket alone. It's soft enough on the inside where it's not going to um, chafe the skin. Uh, I'll wear it all the way up into like the low 50s. Um, but then during the winter time, when it's, when it's cooler, um, I have a, an Under Armour uh, cold gear um, long sleeve shirt that I wear underneath. So today it was about 40, probably 42, 43 degrees out. And all I wore was the jacket and this cold gear shirt. Um, the interesting thing is, uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, when it was about 30, I wore the exact same thing. Um, and so it does a really good job of retaining heat uh, with a, you know, a fairly light layering um, system underneath. You know, once it gets underneath 30 degrees, then I'll, and then I'll start to layer either a short sleeve jersey, um, you know, if it's 25 to 30 degrees out. Once it gets under 25 degrees, I'll add a, um, a long sleeve jersey in between. Um, and then, you know, once it gets down, uh, you know, into the teens, um, then, then I've got some other things that I do um, to bundle up. But um, the sleeves on the um, jacket are extra long so that they cover um, your hands. So they're very easy to pull them um, it, because of the stretch, pull them up over your gloves. Again, depending on the temperature out, I'll wear either kind of a, a thin um, fingered glove and this, this slides right over top of that, no problem, and that does a phenomenal job of keep, keeping the heat in, and I don't have any uh, you know, uh, exposed spots that get cold. Um, and yeah, so I think that's kind of it. Um, this is the, I think it's a, you know, black is a slick color, so this is, you know, another thing that I love about it, but it's just color, it's not a big deal. Um, and so
And so, yeah, if you're looking for a new winter jacket or something that's flexible and can be added to a, a layering system, I highly recommend this jacket. I love it, and I've had it for a couple of years, so I've put it through the ringer. Um, this actually, um, I wash this in the washer on Delicate and throw it in the dryer on Delicate and just have not had any issues with a quality um, perspective on this either. So um, I think that's um, I think that's phenomenal about this. Uh, wore it at Mudman uh, or Iceman Cometh this year. Absolutely destroyed the jacket with mud and water and everything. And everything came right out. Um, and it was, you know, it looks pretty much good as new. So anyway, again, if you're looking for a jacket, I highly recommend the Segoy. Uh, what do I call this? This is embarrassing. Thermal jacket. The Segoy thermal jacket.